Tony and Peter today, your chance to light up a special place in Britain, a brand new competition with some top prizes. And we'll be celebrating the birthday of a famous boy reporter. Hello! Hello. Hi there. Oh yes, we've certainly got an uplifting show today. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> guess, you, I guess you could say. He turned 70 this month, not looking a year older than when he first set out. He's an intrepid reporter who's travelled the globe and had lots of hair-raising adventures. Yes, it's that popular cartoon character, Tintin. Since 1929, he has had many exciting adventures. Everything from searching for treasure in the ocean or trekking through the desert to landing on the moon. In each story, Tintin sets out with his best friend, Snowy, who I'm sitting right next to me here, a small white fox terrier who talks to him and keeps him company. I suppose a bit like our Mabel. Other regular characters include Nutty Professor Calculus and the jolly Captain Haddock, who always gruffly says, blistering barnacles, and helps Tintin out in solving his mysteries. Whoever he is with, Tintin's always finding himself in difficult situations, such as this rather scary train journey. We must be coming to a station. What? Oh, no! Our section has been unhooked. Tintin's stories were written by the Belgian author Georges Remé, known by his pen name Hergé. He started drawing as a child and was inspired by his own adventures as a boy scout in the early 1920s to create his own action hero. Hergé loved travelling and sent Tintin off around the world to America, Egypt, Africa and even to his own made-up countries such as Sildavia. Now, the early Tintin adventures were simple black and white drawings, which were serialized week by week in newspapers and magazines. Each story took over a year to tell. By the 1940s, the Tintin cartoons were made into books, exactly like this one here, 62 pages in length, and later printed in color. Look at that. Fantastic, just like that. Now, this here is the original artwork from the story, Tintin in Tibet. Tintin is searching for a friend who's lost in the snow. Now, you might just be able to see that, actually, here. The words are in French. Hergé came from Belgium, where French is spoken, so that's the language he wrote all his stories in. Now, there have been 24 Tintin books, which have been translated into 58 different languages, including English. Fasten seatbelt! Hi, drama. We're on the edge of our beds, aren't we? I've been joined by Lottie Walter from London and George Hull from Holt in Norfolk, who are huge, huge Tintin fans. George has even got the same birthday as Tintin. And I reckon, as well as... The, you have the spitting image of him, aren't you? All yes, you need is that quiff up there. <laughs> 10th of January is your birthday, and yep. so is his. Welcome to you both. Lottie, what, what is it... What do you think is the best thing about Tintin? Um, it must be the expressions on his face and all the characters, because they're really funny, mm. and especially snowy, because... He changes all the time. How many times have you read the books? Uh, millions, actually thousands of times. Really, so you just reread them again and yeah. again. You never get bored of them. Never. George, how did I mean? How did you actually get get into Tintin? Well, I was given, I think, for my seventh or eighth birthday, I was given a book, Red Rackham's Treasure. And my dad's a second-hand bookseller in, in Hull, and he uh, has a second-hand bookshop and gets in the occasional sort of first edition and things like that. And from that, I just liked them, and I started collecting more and more, and got new things. And Do you think it's still exciting today? Yeah, I think it's very relevant today because a lot of the, I mean, the storylines are so enchanting, and the drawing and the colours so good, and the characters are so well made. And what's your favourite story, both of you? Um, Tintin in America. That's your favourite. What about you? I think Tintin in Tibet because it's it's sort of so sentimental. <laughs> hey, good stuff. Well, thank you both very much for coming in, Cheers. telling us all about Tintin. And we thought, as it's his birthday, we'll have a cake. Why not have yeah. a look at this? Oh, wow. So oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, look, I've got a knife down here. Thank got some you. plates. There we are. Let you two have the have the honour of cutting it. Better do it together, otherwise there'll be there'll be trouble. <laughs> okay. 
Here we go. Hey. So, it looks like Tim Tim is still a happening character, so let's hope he'll be enjoyed for another 70 great years. Like some cake, Si? I'd love a bit. <laughs>